I am a product trend analyst for Cotton Incorporated. Essentially, I'm a trend forecaster, and it's my job to be my clients' eyes and ears to everything that's going on in fashion around the world. All of those pantone numbers are referring to the same colors that are on the strip cards. Well, I've been a trend forecaster for four years now, and I'm lucky to say that I've traveled to over 60 countries, visited over 100 cities. We forecast trends about 18 to 24 months ahead of selling season, and we present these materials to all of our various clients and help them out with what types of fabrics, colors, and silhouettes to create to sell to their consumers. We always hit a few key fashion destinations each season, um, but then we sit down with our boss and we decide, well, where haven't we been and what, do, what destination do we think would be interesting to our clients? Well, what, what are we inspired by? What are we intrigued by? Before I even get to the city, I try to do as much research as possible to see what kind of new shops are popping up, what most popular places to go, maybe an art neighborhood, a college campus. Usually we only have about three or four days in a city and you really want to go there with some idea or plan. Uh, but it's also not necessarily the best idea to box yourself into an itinerary because you want to kind of roam around and stumble upon things naturally. One of the main aspects of being a trend forecaster is to be inspired by and to help others be inspired. You do that through taking pictures and it could be of anything. It could be of, you know, fantastic fashion, what people are wearing on the street, or it could be an amazing example of architecture. Street scenes is what we call them, which are basically random photos of random people and with something interesting, unique, it's all inspiration, whether it be color, fabric, silhouette, that we don't see every day. This is Jenna. When I'm not traveling and I'm here in New York, we do research about things that wouldn't necessarily, one would assume, relate to fashion. So we'll read uh, publications, articles, newspapers, we'll visit museums. When you're trying to decipher consumer trends, you have to be a sponge, you have to soak up everything. So you have to know what's going on in the economy, what's going on in politics, what's going on in healthcare, what's going on in the environment. Everything affects fashion. It takes about six months for the presentation to come together. You can see it working with like a striped sweater knit here, but then here it's just over like a jersey and there are these web wool yarns. When we present our materials to our various clients, we talk about all of our lifestyle inspiration and influences that led us to develop these five main trends. And once we talk about all of these things, we talk about how it's developed our color palette and how that's affecting the client and how we'll use those colors or see them being used in the future. We're showing our clients the best way to use cotton and we're showing them the newest way to use cotton. So we as trend forecasters are the first step in the design process for all of our clients. We're the eyes and ears of what's going on around the world and the fashion side of things. And what we say and what we predict and how we help our clients also affects what everyday people will be wearing in a few years from now.